Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to use the clipboard function, specifically the copy and paste function of the clipboard to transfer a shape and or object from one drawing to another drawing. So the clipboard function is going to be on the uh, upper right hand corner of your home ribbon and once you figure out how to use this, it's going to become your best friend for transferring objects and shapes from one drawing to another. So with that being said, hopefully this is a quick lesson and let's get into it. Real quick, before we get started, if you would please consider subscribing to the channel, this kind of gives me an understanding of how good the videos are doing, what you guys like seeing, what you like watching. Uh, I also have a bunch of other videos that are hopefully helpful with AutoCAD related materials. If you like the video itself, leave a like down below. If you want to see something else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section. And if you want to help support the channel, there's a link down below as well. All right, so let's get into this. The first thing I want to do is I want you to notice that we have two drawings up here. We have drawing one and drawing two. And there's nothing in each drawing specifically because I'm going to create something. But let's just suppose that I'm going to create three circles inside of each other. One, two, and then three. I want to now take this drawing and move it over to the drawing number two. So typically what you do is you maybe think you can go to the copy uh, selection and then come up here to the drawing and you can't do that. Once you, when you copy something in drawing, you cannot just use the copy selection and move it over to drawing number two. So the way we copy and move to a different drawing is we're going to select the entire object and you're going to come up here to the clipboard function and we're going to go right here and this is going to say copy clip. So we're going to click that. Then we're going to move over to drawing number two and we're going to come back here and just click the paste button. And as you can see, I have now taken that exact same shape from drawing number one and moved it over to drawing number two. It has the exact same dimensions. Everything is the same. The next thing you can do when you're drawing or copying stuff is you can take this and I can actually say, okay, I want to move it from here, drawing number one, to drawing number two. But when I move it over, I want to erase it from drawing one because I don't need it there. I just need it in drawing number two. To do this, instead of hitting the copy button, we're just going to hit the cut button. Now, when I hit the cut button, it disappears from drawing number one. We're going to come up here to drawing number two, and we are going to click paste. And as you can see, I can now paste it into drawing number two, and it disappeared from drawing number one. All right, so we have our shape drawn in drawing number two. And again, it's not in drawing number one anymore. It's in drawing number two. And when you copy and paste something from drawing to drawing, you have a couple other options as well. I'm not going to go into all of them, but I think there are some other helpful ones that you might find useful. So the first one is, let's just pretend we're going to copy this. We're going to go up to copy, and we want to bring it back to drawing number one. You're going to notice that Instead of hitting the paste button above, you have a drop down list you can hit. So we're going to drop that down. And here you have paste, paste as block, paste as hyperlink, paste to original coordinates, and then paste special. So the paste up front, the top one, that's going to be our paste button. But if we want to paste it as a block, we can do that as well. So I'm going to take that from drawing number two, and I'm going to paste it as a block here. We're going to enter. And as you can see here, when I try and select an individual thing, it's a block. And then I can actually come up here, insert that same block elsewhere. So since I've created the block now in drawing number one, it is a block here. Now, that being said, it is not a block in drawing number two when we switch to it. The next thing you can do as well is we are going to actually take this drawing and we're going to copy it here real quick in drawing number two. And we're going to move it up here. Okay. So when I take that drawing now, say I want this particular drawing, this bit right here. I want to move it into the exact same spot on the other drawing, drawing number one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Or I'm not going to copy it. Excuse me. I'm going to select it all. We're going to copy it. And then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to select paste, but paste to original coordinates. And as you can see here, once I click my mouse, nothing happens. And 
it looks like nothing else um, pasted over here, but when I zoom out, I can see now that it actually pasted to the same exact location as drawing number two. So that is what pasting to the original coordinates means. The last thing we're going to show you is just a couple other options, but we're going to copy this again. And I'm going to come down here and actually paste special. Now what this allows you to do is paste it as a picture, a bitmap, or an AutoCAD LT entity. So we're not going to do the AutoCAD LT entity. Um, that's just basically going to paste it back to where it was. But if I take this, the picture, the meta file, and click OK, I can now paste it right here. And as you can see, it takes a picture of drawing number two and allows us to insert that in here. This isn't going to be used regularly. In fact, if you never have to use this, this is more of an advanced feature. I wouldn't you know, expect you to use this at all, to be honest. But it's there for you in case you want to do that. So if you want to play around, that's an excellent thing to check out. But again, you're probably not going to use that very regularly. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. There is one other paste option. If you scroll down, you'll notice that there's paste as hyperlink. I'm going to make a separate video about that, and I'm going to make a separate video that kind of goes in more detail with the paste special since I didn't really cover that too much this lesson. This is more of just a basic or beginner style lesson for you. So hopefully you found it helpful. If you liked the video, give it a like down below again, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.